Today we're going to go over the differences in the stages of ML Toys Motor Gearbox kits. We have stage 1, 2, 3, and 4 to offer right now. There's a stage 5 coming down the road, but we'll bring that up another time. Uh, whenever you order a stage motor gearbox setup, it's going to come with a pair of motor gearboxes. And then if your kit requires a cap nut to hold the wheels on, then it'll be included. And also connectors for the motor wires. A stage 1 motor gearbox like this is going to have our Performance 550 motor on it. Those, these motors are much faster than the stock motors. They have built-in cooling fans on them. Uh, when possible, we upgrade the gear ratio to give it a higher top speed gear ratio. Almost all vehicles have that option to it, uh, so it'll come with it standard. And then the gearboxes are the newest gearboxes available. They're constantly updating the molds on these, so we want to make sure we get you uh, the best quality one that's made. Now a Stage 2 motor gearbox looks the same on the outside. It's got our performance motors, it's got the outer gearboxing looking the same. What we're going to do with these is add to them our hardened steel first gears. These are hardened steel. We have holes drilled in them to make them lighter. Never had one of these burn out on anybody. We also, on the pinion gears on the motor, turn those into hardened steel as well. And then the rest of the gears are lubricated with our race grease, which is a much uh, thinner, easier flowing grease uh, that uh, keeps the gears cool still, keeps gearboxes from melting down, but allows a lot freer rotation. Now with the stage one and two, you'll also be given the option of adding heat sinks to the motors. It's another good way to help keep them cool. Really recommended for 18 volt use, uh, but it can't hurt to run them on 12. And then we also have, for the advanced users, our heat sinks that have cooling fans built into them. Let's see if I can hold this up close so you can see. And this is actually all pre-wired, ready to go to clip onto the motors and then wire into the vehicle. We've got a whole nother set of instructions for that, but it's just two wires to add in so that your cooling fans are running on any voltage uh, that you have in your vehicle, um, whether it's 12 or 18. Again, these motors are not designed for more than 18 volts on the stage one and two. Now, for those of you speed demons that really want to go fast, we have the stage three setup and stage four setup. Now, we get a lot of questions right off the bat, which one is really faster? Well, at 18 volts, the stage two is actually faster than the stage three. But if you really want to go fast, you go for 24 volts. And for that, the stage two and one won't do. You need to go for the bigger 775 motor that comes in the stage three and four. Stage three has got our 775 motor. It's got the gear ratio increased on it, just like the other ones. It's got our aluminum motor mounting plate. What this does is it keeps the motor from flexing inside the gearbox because uh, these things have a lot of torque and you need that. The motors have built-in cooling fans uh, and that's the basics of a stage three. When you go to a stage four, you'll now have the big steel gear on it uh, with the ball bearings, the hardened steel first gear and the race grease added in as well. So that's the difference in the different stages that we have. Hopefully that'll help you pick out which one is right for your needs.